So I want to show a few things uh, with the monogram project. Uh, but first, let me cover um, you know, a little bit about the uh, Bezier pen tool that we've been learning about. If you remember, you can uh, simply click the mouse to get straight line segments. You can also click and drag to create curved points. And if we look closely at this with the node tool, you can see that there are control handles that control the shape of the curve. You can manipulate these control handles directly or you can click and drag on the line itself. And you can see that uh, previous object where we only clicked, there are no control handles for these points. They are simply straight, but we can change them. If we select all these points, we can use the uh, Make Selected Node Smooth option, which gives us the control handles for m manipulating the shape. Or again, click and drag directly on the line. Kind of like playing with rubber bands. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, what I have here so far. So we talked about uh, different types of monograms already. Uh, this example here uses a, a basic sans serif type and I basically typed out my letters, chose a typeface that I liked, converted this type to uh, path, object to path, and then that allowed me to manipulate the location of my letters individually. And then here's the final result. And all I did with this one, I believe, is uh, change the height of the stem there. So that's the separate option. You can see the corresponding sketch and the departure. Let's take a look at joined. And uh, for that, we'll, I'll point you to this sketch here. And uh, basically, I found a font, I think this is Times New Roman italics. Uh, did the same thing as I did in the previous example. I typed my letters, turned it uh, object to path, or there may be, let's see, use the text tool, GLR. Times. All right, let's try droid serif. Make it italic. Let's increase the size. And so this is a text object. Right, so it's object to path. So you have the three different objects, the letters, and these are basically Bezier paths. So back to the example. Um, at that point, I could move my letters around and find out where they could join. And then I started to remove parts of the R so that it would mesh better with my L. All right, so this is what I ended up with. And this is basically... Uh, just selecting points and hitting the uh, backspace or the delete key in order to uh, get rid of them. And then I can adjust the curve. You can also draw a selection around multiple points. Zoom in here so you can see. Draw a selection and hit delete. And I'm going to have to grab this up here and just bring it in. Or I can uh, manipulate the control handles. So it looks much cleaner. And then finally, you can use uh, 
to to get these two shapes to join into one another you can select your objects that you want to join and use path union to convert them into one shape now you can see that this is all both my L and R are just one one shape now you can do the same thing for the G select the G the LR path union it's also control plus on the keyboard and it's all one object at that point I can uh, change the styling add some color well, let's try something classy the final example is the interlaced and this is where um, the power of the Bezier pen tool really uh, comes to light uh, what I've done already here is uh, I have a basic uh, Bezier path but I have applied a path uh, effect using the path effect editor and if we bring that up we can see I've used uh, pattern along path and this object up here is actually the pattern and the way I have it set up is if I manipulate this object you know, this shape at the top is actually stretched along the Bezier curve that I drew so I can make it look like I've used calligraphy and I can also alter the, the shape here just to Bezier path controls so let's uh, Let's finish this G here. The Bezier pen. Start up at the top. And I'm just going to click. I'm not going to concentrate on dragging. Basically, going to click at the extremities of the curve. And let's stop there for now. So now I can use the node tool to change these to curves just by clicking on these segments but you can see they're not very smooth so let's make these smooth here select all three of these and choose this hmm. oh There we go, it's starting to take shape. Let's pull these back in. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, and I think this needs to have some smoothness to it. So if we click here close to the point and drag up, we can get one control point out here. So we have a nice smooth transition from straight and to this curve. So that looks pretty good. To continue a line with the Bezier pen, um, you can select that and uh, switch to the pen tool. And you can see the beginning and the end have these hollow points. If you click right on there, to begin your path, you can continue it. Let's see. You scroll down. And let's stop there. It's starting to get confusing. Let's smooth this out. Change to the node tool. So N on the keyboard. Remember, it's a second tool from the left. Let's drag out some nodes. Oh, this one is going way too far out here. Look at that. Let's rein him in. 
get back here. So we should probably change these to smooth. Otherwise, we're not going to have a very good transition if one of these handles is uh, not parallel with the other one, you're going to have a, a sharp point. So if we select our node and then use this to smooth it, the angle is symmetrical, the, the angle of the handles. So you have a uh, even in and out going through the, the node. Let's do the same for these two. Smooth those up. And we'll just... Uh, with the shift, we're going to hold down the shift key to select these. Make sure that's smooth. Oh, no. Oh, that's embarrassing. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we lost some work because I forgot to save. So there's a lesson for you. Save often. And I could have opened the recovery file, but uh, I'd rather start from the top here. So I'm just going to quickly drop some points where I think they will make the most uh, difference to the shape of our curves. It's one here this time. And I know that doesn't look like much. Let's change to the node tool. Let's uh, zoom in here a little bit. Make that smooth. You know what? Let's speed things up a little bit. I'm going to, with the node tool, and we have our object selected, we're going to hit Control A on the keyboard, select all the nodes, and we'll just make them all smooth in one go. All right. So it looks kind of crazy, and then we can just drag these in place. All right, all the nodes are smooth. We need to uh, get them in the shape of our sketch. And... Um